guys after subscribing to this channel please make sure that you also press the bell icon so that no notification no new video of mine any educational video is missed by anybody all right i'll welcome once again all the students uh, who are participating in the class tonight and uh, tonight will be oski part 1 there are so many questions which i have to discuss with you uh, i have a bank of couple of questions right now these are all questions which have been asked in your examination so i have a couple of those questions tonight and i'll be taking a larger class in the next uh, next week why because right now i'm like i said before i'm traveling so it's not very easy for me to give you a lot of time but um, i'll try to take up a bundle of questions tonight and uh, another bundle of questions the next coming uh, week and maybe if you get a little more more of those questions like some of you were uh, insistent on some questions regarding contraception some of them some of you wanted certain uh, questions regarding some uh, query on pph some of them uh, wanted uh, something about uh, psm and statistics so um, if you give me those questions guys it will be very very good for me to you know um, you know make up answers for you and it will be discreet it will be more uh, you know uh, i would say it fruitful for everybody right uh, talking like this that ma'am some questions came on so how do i know which exact questions had come because whatever bank i had i'm discussing it with you most of them i've put it on the uh, on my oski list i have an oski bank uh, which is to prepare you for your final oskis in the examination it's a huge amount of uh, marks that is there thank you usha i love you so Uh, i have tried to prepare you for that some of the questions have been thrown in from there and uh, of course the other questions will be those questions which you will collect from your groups and uh, put it on the channel and i'll segregate them and make a make a list for you so let's start without wasting any further time this is a couple of um, questions that i had which have come in your exam this is the kind of questions which are asked in oski and the marks are written over here <clears throat> i don't know which exactly uh, which year which which exam but this is the kind of questions so everybody please be Uh, ready in your chat uh, chat room let's first discuss what do you feel and then i'll give you the answer right so how many of you can describe the hysteroscopic findings in this picture how many of you can see see this picture is not very clear even i found it a little difficult to you know finally give an answer because i didn't want to give you any wrong answer so i had to like think a little and then Uh, you know this is the way probably they designed the question they were un understood what exactly where they want to go so come on tell me everybody in the chat box or in the chat room what do you see in this picture describe the hysteroscopic finding in this picture and see it's just a one mark question so i know what examiner is looking to hear from you so you have to give me an answer and i'll tell you what did you miss right so i have an answer already prepared okay endometrium looks pale what else so pale endometrium points out towards what yeah it's adhesions can you see this place the ostial opening it itself has an adhesion over it's not a proper normal ostial opening it's got adhesions yes so i would say it's a scarred uterus okay it's looking like a scarred patchy you know the endometrium is not usually the look of a hysteroscopy in hysteroscopy of a proper normal uterus is a nice endometrium right pink fleshy endometrium it is not sparse patchy like this right so that is one correct yes it's got adhesions it's uh, having ostial adhesions can you see this is the ostia and it's got adhesions there as well which is very very characteristic of uh, tuberculosis yes correct and you have this uh, patchy pale endometrium agreed so we come to the conclusion of which is discussing i'll show you my slide as well right so this is in the favor of tb yes endometrial or uterine tb in which condition this type of finding is seen now comes the second question now you will write down tuberculous endometritis correct what can be its effect on her menstrual cycle all of us know it will cause what what is it going to cause yes very good scanty flow that's what the patients usually come with right it's hypomenorrhea oligomenorrhea right you will write down like this you will not write scanty flow you can say maybe the clinical features scanty flow and then bracket me you can write down oligomenorrhea hypomenorrhea sometimes even amenorrhea correct and uh, so this this specifically as about menstrual cycle okay had they asked about uh, what history the patient is going to give you infertility would also have come right correct good all right very i'm so so happy with my students all my old students are answering on the there are a couple of new also who are, who are trying very very good excellent 
that's what i try to tell you keep answering write down the more you practice the more you will remember okay and doesn't matter you're right or wrong nobody's here to judge you even if you do answer wrong in my in my class i will just ignore it and talk about the people who asked the right one doesn't matter all right next uh name two specific investigations to confirm the diagnosis well here i've tried to give you a complete chart of all investigations which are very good for genital tb from a very authentic uh, new journal source and then i've marked the ones which are uh, specific to confirm this particular type of invest now remember this thing that when you're talking about yes tb pcr yes okay endometrial tissue for culture we usually don't give now all right i'll tell you what exactly are the ones uh specific if they want to know how do you diagnose you know are you how are you diagnosing right now how are you diagnosing right now you're diagnosing through a hysteroscopic finding correct and of course biopsy and then tb pcr can i can take that i can take what is the treatment for this condition that also i have tried to include a proper a tuberculosis uh, treatment genital uh, tuberculosis is managed almost the same way like uh, pulmonary tuberculosis is managed and that is what i have tried to include so very good very well answered none of you were wrong everybody was thinking the right thing i hope everybody can hear my voice and everybody can see the screen properly okay it is your likes is all right fine we can say that this is not so much not such a bad one's not uh, uh the, those kind of additions in which you need to do a digitalysis here uh treatment will be uh the att treatment right it's not all going to dissolve this is not such a bad bad case so this picture is showing the scarring of endometrium along with adhesions especially the periosteal adhesions that's what you're going to add over here i'll just add for you peri os tail adhesions osteal adhesions and uh, this giving you a, a picture of tuberculous endometritis which is the diagnosis this is what is the symptoms of uh, menstrual symptoms that is what you want to encounter and then this i have included the lab investigations and diagnostic modality for um this is genital tb all right so here you get diagnostic laparoscopy best diagnostic tool to detect this uh, genital tb by direct visualization and cages nodules you can take biopsy from here biopsy is very very important because that is going to tell you exactly the cages i hope you do remember this thing right chronic inflammation how do how do the cages nodules look what do they look inside the microscope and how the histopathology of this is uh, showing so this is going to tell you chronic inflammation most probably tuberculosis this is what is known right uh, any other chronic inflammation you know of uh, uh, genital tract it's not very common right and especially living in an india in india you've got to this is the first diagnosis that will strike your mind and of course you can confirm it with the tb pcr i'll accept that as an examiner i'm going to accept that so hysteroscopy is the second important diagnostic modality you can club them together take the biopsy and go for tb pcr that is going to help you in finally delineating the uh final diagnosis correct and this is the treatment i had to include don't worry you will get this uh, ppt everybody who was there in my updated uh, theory course who's taken that you will take you'll get this um, entire ppt in that and you will uh, you can revise from there all right okay the the link is right there so anybody who's uh, there on the group and not uh, able to enter the chat room please feel free to uh, join in all right so the chat link has been put on my channel kindly everybody who is there in the class and not there in the chat room to converse with me it's very important that you uh, enter the chat room otherwise you'll not be able to write anything and the class will keep going on and you'll have no interaction with me right plus this, towards the end we'll take up a couple of uh, doubts so you can uh, you know address those doubts to me by writing it down in the chat box all right so this was the management this is the treatment like i said over here treatment of uh, the genital tract tb very similar to the pulmonary tb all right given for a total of 6 months you have an initiation phase you have a continuation phase see these drugs rifampicin isoniazid pyrazinamide ethambutol they are given for first two months of intensive phase and then comes the continuation phase so here now you have a three drug regime 
okay and like the two drugs that were given past remember so may, i don't know how many of you have um, tried to recapitulate or how many of you have studied those two dr drug regime in the continuation phase now you give three drugs all right so now you have uh, rifampicin isoniazid and uh, ethambutol for the next four months and the dosage and everything is included in this one table and there's a very very authentic table right from the who and uh, ntep program so there is no confusion remember guys whenever i put anything on my notes or if i put anything in the ppt i always put up the most recent and the most authentic one remember that so if you're writing or learning anything from my notes or from my ppt remember that it's already heavily researched so you do not have to uh, again go and uh, look forward to it don't waste your time right and anything latest that is going to come up, I usually go back to my notes and I delete the old one, old ones and put the new one and the a notification goes to all of you. Okay. So do not worry about this at all. Otherwise, I usually skip it. I don't uh, write down anything. And I told, tell you very honestly that this thing I'll be able to give you in the next class or I'll be able to, or will provide you on the channel or something like that, which is why it comes to my, my old point that I was trying to tell you. If you can give me your doubts or your questions, uh, maybe a couple, you know, beforehand than my class, then I'll be able to give you properly researched answers rather than giving you one liners, um, you know, during doubt solving. So this is my, my request to all of you. So, well, this is the first OSCE question over. If you've got any doubts regarding it, you can write them down. We can discuss it towards the end. Just remember that this was the first station.